you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 30th saturday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 4 verses 35 to 41 on the day when evening had come he said to them Let's go across to the other side and leaving the crowd behind. They took him with them in the boat just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great wind storm arose and the waves beat into the boat so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern asleep on the cushion and they woke him up and said to him, "Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing?" He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea peace be still then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm he said to them why are you afraid have you still no faith and they were filled with a great awe and said to the one another who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ dear friends After the passage of the parables Mark continues by narrating four miracle stories two of them put together in an inclusion there are two messages in today's story of the coming of the storm at sea the first is that coming of the sea indicates the true identity of Jesus he has the power of god himself this question of Jesus identity is a major theme of Mark's gospel he speaks to the sea as if it were a living thing an instrument of the devil an evil thing no wonder that the disciples are filled with awe their question contains its own answer who then is this whom even wind and sea obey as is clear from passages in the old testament especially in the psalms psalm number 65 verse 8 you still the roaring of the seas the roaring of their waves psalm 89 10 you rule over the surging of the sea you still the swelling of its waves psalm number 93 verse 34 more powerful than the roaring of uh, many waters more powerful than the breakers of the sea the second message is lies in the symbolism underlying the whole story it is a story of the early church the boat represents the church community the surrounding sea is the world jesus gets into the boat just as he was there is a man looking no different from his disciples there were other boats too that is each other communities then a violent storm arises and waves threatened yeah, swam the boat and sink it this is just what was happening to so many little communities surrounded by hostile elements bend on wiping out the christian church faith where was jesus during all this asleep not in the least worried the disciples scolded him teacher do you not care that we are all going to be drowned how often that a complaint must have risen from those tiny battered communities wondering where their lord was in all the troubles jesus wakes up and tells the wind to be still and calm returns now there are scolded why are you afraid do you not have faith that is trust in jesus caring for them of course the real calm is not so much in the sea as in the hearts when they realize that jesus is not far away he is not asleep or absent but he is with them all the time let's pray for that inner peace that comes from knowing jesus is always very close to us no matter what may be going on in our lives amen may god bless us